All right, John, now look. The problem is to factor x squared minus 9x plus 20. Now, how do you do it? Let's see. x squared minus 9x plus 20. You take the x squared minus the 9x and... Oh, you subtract x from x squared and then you... Oh, golly, Mary, I don't know anything about this factoring business. John, you do too. Now, the answer is the quantity x minus 5 times the quantity x minus 4. Now, do you see how I got it? Yeah, I guess I do. But golly, Mary, this stuff's awful. I just don't get most of it. You'll just have to. You won't pass the test tomorrow. I know it. Mary, if I get stuck on the test, you'll help me, won't you? How can I help you? It's easy. Miss Granby hardly ever comes back to where we sit. If I get stuck, I'll just ask you for the answer. Well, I don't know. Oh, forget it. I probably won't have any trouble anyway. But you remember what happened the next day, John. Miss Granby's test was even tougher than you thought it would be. There were a lot of problems you couldn't work. And it seemed to you that you didn't stand a chance of passing the test. And right there in front of you sat your pal, Mary, with her head chock full of all the answers you needed. You thought about it. There you were, desperate. And there was your salvation within arm's reach. So you decided to take a chance. You asked Mary for help. And of course, Mary, being Mary, gave you the help. It was all so simple. You began to wonder why you'd spent so much time worrying about the test. Yes, sir, you felt pretty pleased with yourself. You'd put one over on Miss Granby. A few days later, Miss Granby returned the graded papers. Was there a shadow of doubt in Miss Granby's face as she looked at you? What was there for Miss Granby to doubt? After all, wasn't this the best grade you'd ever made on an algebra test? Maybe that was it. Maybe the grade was too good. Nothing's the matter. There must be something. You're upset. You're not yourself. I tell you, nothing's the matter. John, we've worked, we've starved, we've licked everything together so far. You never held out on me before. What is it, John? Well, what do those guys expect me to do? Climb up and poke my fist through a rain cloud? They look up to you, John. They look up to you for guidance and help. They, they want to believe in you. They picture you as their leader. Well, who asked them to pick me? I can make mistakes too, can't I? I'm only human. Can I help it if it, if it don't rain? No one expects you to. But keep your perspective. Be the boss again. Let them think you're not worried. Let them think you know more than they do. Oh, this cheap joint gives me a pain. There's no future here. No place for a guy with big time ideas. Oh, what's the use? I, I've got ideas bigger than this place. Real big stuff. John, this isn't you talking. Somebody else. Some stranger. It's me, all right. I'm finally getting wise to myself, that's all. I'm fed up. I'm sick of the whole place. I'm through with it all. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> 